Hello everyone on YouTube, Combat22 here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to homebrew a Wii. So uh, this is probably one of the most simplest, easiest methods out there, as it doesn't require an SD card. It just requires an internet connection and a few tweaks in the DNS settings. Um, so this works for mainly just the original white Wii. Uh, it does, I'm not sure if it works on the Wii Mini. Um, Wii Mini's had a lot of problems before, so I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, just a simple uh, DNS tweaking. This is the str2hacks method. So uh, yeah, first thing, first things first, before we start, we're going to have to check two things. So you want to make sure you're connected to the internet on your Wii. So let's go ahead. You hit internet here, connection settings, and then there's my connection. Because you must be connected to the internet for this method, obviously. And you want to make sure that you are on the latest Wii um, version. So if you head back to the first page in the Wii System Settings 1, at the top right here it's going to say your version. So the latest version as of 2020 is 4.3U. If you have anything under that, head to page 3 and click Wii System Update where you can perform an update. Oops, didn't mean to go over there. And so, once everything you've checked is all, it's all good, you want to head to your internet settings. And want to choose connection settings, and then you want to choose your connection that you're using. And you want to hit change settings. So you're going to go forward, and you want to head to auto obtain DNS, where you want to select no, and then advanced settings. Now here's where we will put in our two DNSs we're using. So the first primary DNS, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the description as well, if you can't hear it properly or can't see it properly. I really wish I had a capture card. I don't, sadly, so I'm just using what I have. 97, this is the first DNS, 97.74.103.14, and then hit OK. Now, secondary DNS is going to be 173. Oops. I have to get used to typing and using the Wii remote. 173.201.71.14. Okay. So now you just want to hit confirm, and then you want to hit save, and now here's where you press OK and it's going to start internet connection tests. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording, be right back. <clears throat> Alright, now once you're finished, uh, it's going to show this. The connection test was successful, perform a Wii system update now. Um, if you, like I said, have the latest version, we're just going to go ahead and hit no. And there you go. Now, the next thing you want to do is hit back, and you're going to be at the front page of Internet here. So this is where you're going to want to go ahead and hit User Agreements. Now, it's going to ask you, would you like to use the Wii Shop channel and Wii Connect 24? Yes. We're not actually going to use it, but we just need to get to that User Agreements page. Now, it's going to say you must review the User Agreement before using Wii Network Services. Hit Next. It's going to perform an internet connection test, so once again I'm going to... Oh, never mind. That's like a lot quicker than I've seen usually. So what you're going to see is you're going to be on this page here. Please wait, this will take one to two minutes. as a rainbow dash there. Um, so within one to two minutes, you just want to stay on this page. Do not press anything, just leave it. It's going to start installing the Hack Me menu and your device will restart, so the Wii will restart. So, uh, yeah, as the warning says, if your Wii remote stops working or responding, um, just turn off the Wii and then try again. And if you couldn't even get to this menu and it said internet connection test was a failure, 
Um, just head back and make sure that you put in the right DNS address for both of the fields. So yeah, now you're just going to go ahead and wait. I'm going to pause and then um, be right back when it starts. Alright, so once it's finished, it's going to pop up this little screen here. And as you can see, what it's doing is it's resetting DNS servers and everything, connecting and getting the files it needs. So what you're going to want to wait is for it to download the payload. And you might get this, where it does this noise. Don't, don't be worried about that. I don't know, even know why it does that. Now, this software must not be sold, neither alone or as part of a bundle, because this is completely free, and if you did pay for any of this, which you probably did, you got scammed. Now, you're going to want to wait a bit, and on the bottom it will say, uh, press any button or something. Um, you should connect your Wii Remote now because your device restarted. So I'll be right back once it's ready. Oh, never mind. Uh, so now you want to do it, just press 1 to continue once it says to do so. So you're, here you go, you're in the Hack Me installer. Uh, yeah, it's sort of hard to see. But what you're going to see is uh, it's going to show you the iOS versions, and then it's going to show you the two things you have to install, which is the boot me and the homebrew channel. So uh, now what you want to do is just go ahead and press continue. You can use A to select. Now it's going to show you the main menu here. Install the homebrew channel and boot me. You just want to go ahead and press uh, install the homebrew channel, and then press yes continue. Now it's going to begin to install the channel, and we'll say success, and continue. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. Um, now you just want to press boot me. Um, you, what I actually I meant this is an optional thing, but if you want, you can install boot me onto an SD card and stuff. For now, that's really it. Once you've installed the homebrew channel, you can go ahead and press exit. And then press exit again. And now your Wii is going to restart again. And you're going to boot straight into the homebrew channel. And it's going to go ahead and start connecting to the internet. Once the Wi Fi corner, uh, icon stops flashing, that's really about it. And now you want to press the home button and that's really it to be honest now you can exit the system menu now what you're gonna notice is you have a new channel on your home menu on the Wii the homebrew channel nice this means it was successful and you can easily just press it and boot into it let's start it there's some funky techno music that starts playing when you open it. And there you go. So I'm going to make a few more tutorials on how to install different software on here. There is actually a lot you can do with the Homebrew channel on the Wii. Uh, ever since the discontinuation of the Wii and like the failures like to stop supporting it and everything, this has been quite a hero for it, so there's a lot you can do. You can download this uh, homebrew shop, which allows you to download free software for your Wii. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's really all you really need to do. you finished. You've installed the homebrew channel, homebrewed your Wii, without using an SD card, and just completely over the internet. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.